Let's further explore the fascinating realm of engineering probability and statistics by delving deeper into the concepts and implications of the questions we've discussed. Question 1. What is the probability that exactly two of the ten selected components are defective? To fully grasp the significance of this question, it's important to understand the role of probability in quality control and manufacturing. In manufacturing, the goal is to produce reliable and defect-free products. However, there's always a chance that some components may be defective due to various factors in the production process. In our scenario, we're dealing with a known defect rate of 5%. This means that, on average, 5% of the electronic components produced are defective. To calculate the probability of exactly 2 out of the 10 selected components being defective, we apply the binomial probability formula. This formula takes into account the number of trials, selecting 10 components, the probability of success, a single component being defective, which is 0.05, and the probability of failure, a single component being non-defective, which is 0.95. After performing the calculations, we arrived at a probability of approximately 0.0677. This result provides manufacturers with valuable insights. It tells us that, when inspecting a random sample of 10 components, there is a 6.77% likelihood of encountering precisely two defective components. This knowledge can inform quality control strategies and help companies optimize their processes. Now, let's delve into Question 2. What is the probability that at least three of the ten selected components are defective? This question introduces us to the concept of at least probabilities which are crucial in real-world decision-making. Knowing the probability of encountering a certain number of defects in a sample can be used to assess the risk and make informed choices. To address this question, we first calculated the probabilities of having 0 and 1 defective components, which were approximately 0 0.59874 and 0 0.31512 respectively. These probabilities represent the likelihood of having a very low number of defects in the sample. Now, here's where the complement rule comes into play. The complement rule states that the probability of an event happening is equal to 1 minus the probability of it not happening. In our context, we found the probability of having fewer than 3 defective components to be approximately 0 0.98156. Therefore, the probability of having at least three defective components is approximately 1 to 0 0.98156 6 equals 0 0.01844. This means that, when inspecting 10 components, there is roughly a 1.84% chance of encountering at least three defective components. This information is invaluable for manufacturers striving to maintain high quality standards and make informed decisions about quality control procedures. In summary, engineering probability and statistics serve as essential tools for decision making in manufacturing and various other fields. By harnessing the power of mathematical principles, we can optimize processes, minimize risks, and ensure the quality and reliability of the products and services we provide. These calculations and insights demonstrate the practical applications of knowledge, enabling us to make informed choices and drive excellence in our endeavors. Thank you for your attention and may your understanding of probability and statistics continue to empower you in your pursuit of knowledge and excellence.